Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Dan of AhmedDan.com. Today I will have another episode of GoPro 10 video and I'll talk about the time or feature on GoPro Hero 10 Black. If this is your first time or repeat visit, thank you for your support. On this channel, I'm always trying you on different ideas. If that is something you're interested in, please visit for more. If you're only interested in tutorial videos, there will be links in the description box below. So today in this video, I'll just show you uh, some sample clips of uh, time warp from my new GoPro Hero 10 Black and this is just auto mode and I'd like to show you that you know how it comes if you do not choose anything uh, because I didn't uh, set any uh, you know anything manual so most of them are auto I'll just go over some of the settings and then I'll show you the clip uh, the clip you're going to be looking at later on uh, I feel like it's a little bit fast when you do auto so I don't think you can use it for like you know uh, if you insert it inside a regular video but uh, in this you know uh, sample video I'll just show you how it looks so basically when you open GoPro uh, then this is going to be the default uh, setting which is going to be uh, the video so in order to change it to time lapse uh, you're just going to you know uh, slide it to the right and you can see that you know you have the time lapse right here and uh, if you uh, click on uh, time warp then you're, you're going to see that you know you have you're going to have a few options right here for example time warp time lapse night lapse and uh, I think that's all we have here we're going to be dealing with time warp so if you click on the edit uh, button on the right so here you're going to see the settings for uh, this time warp so the resolution is uh, 4k and I chose linear plus uh, horizontal leveling because I was in outside and the speed is auto and here if you click on here so you can see that you know you're going to have a bunch of options uh, 10 times 2 times uh, five times so what happens when it's auto then you know the GoPro automatically sets the speed for your time warp video and that's what I wanted to test out so that's for that reason I chose it to auto so let's go back and then here you have uh, schedule capture off and then button uh, duration no limit and then here timer off zoom is 1.0 which is the normal uh, setting then let's keep going down okay so now here you're going to get uh, protein so if you compensation I bumped it to 0.1 because it was getting dark but later on I uh, saw when I saw the footage I noticed that you know it looked a little bit over bright so even if it's like you know a little dark or evening uh, I think a point half would be a better setting but I was just testing with 0.1 and that's the video you're going to watch and white balance auto and I also minimum I set it to 100 and I also maximum I set it to 800 sharpness is medium because if you go high it doesn't look natural and the color I was testing with vibrant uh, I didn't try other color uh, for example uh, you can suit uh, you can choose uh, for example natural color and then flat color but uh, with this GoPro I've been trying uh, uh, vibrant color and then wind was uh, auto and basically that's all I had here so that was my setting for the time warp and it was uh, in the evening so let's take a look at the clip and then you'll know that you know whether this is good enough or this is too fast but you know my uh, I think this is a little bit fast uh, I wouldn't be able to use it in a normal video but I just wanted to show you the clip so that's all for today. Thank you for watching. There will be more videos coming up. So I'll see you shortly. Thank you.